our guest today is Mercedes Narcisse. She's a high energy businesswoman, nurse, and mother, and she's running for New York State Senate in the 19th Senatorial District. Welcome, Marcy. Thank you. Yes, thank yes, you for yes. being here. Oh, thank you for coming and, you know, for being here us. to support me. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, you have been, you know, a fixture in Garnarsi for decades. You had a medical supply business, you've been a nurse, you've done all these types of things. Why did you think it was the right time now to run for office? Um, honestly, I uh, I don't know if you're aware that I ran for city council in 2013. And after that, I, uh, for some reason or others, I ended up um, doing the entry program. Mm -hmm. And when I'm listening to the young men and young women coming back and forth in jail and looking at my my life story with my own children being a single mom and being able to do so much with them and then by the way my first one is about to graduate medical school my second one graduated mm. from actuary science and oh, finance nice. so i realized that i'm a blessed woman and there's so much i can do with those young minds and then i keep talking to them i was able to get to make them understand you don't have to sell back on the street and they're very happy we've been having conversation and then people in the district when the seat opened they keep on asking me to run and then one day i was having a conversation with one of the reentry young men and he dare me to run for office really? because okay. he trusts me he said I never trust anyone, but I trust you, and I think you should because I was talking about politics, and I let him know that I, I ran for office, and I don't want to bother sometimes because it's so much, you know, the bureaucracy, the it's things, and uh, it was too much. Right. And then he encouraged me. He told me that he would love for me to be in office and for him to work together with me, and then I was thinking about it, listening to the people in the area, and there I am, wow. running for the state senate. Uh, I love it. <laughs> I mean, it's a great story, but in terms of, like, you talked about reentry programs, mm -hmm. Are, is that some of the things that you like to focus on when you're running? What are some of the yes. issues that are important I, I, to you? Actually, yes. It's mm -hmm. very important to me because what they make me realize, um, adapt, when I adopted my daughter, um, I was her fourth home. Mm -hmm. And I realized everybody thought I was crazy. And I realized all she needed is opportunity. Thank and you. then when I'm, she, now she's 19. She's oh, second wow. semester of college. And what I'm seeing through this, through the lens of seeing those young men and young women, and I feel like, Pushing education is the way to go. Mm -hmm. Because most of us, we don't have money to give. But once you have basic education, you have a structure, you can do better for yourself. And that's one of my focus. I have five different areas as single mom, struggling, paying bills, and paying bills. <laughs> so there's a lot of things that I, I truly believe that we can work better in our community and improve. So just to get into the, the political lay of the land, I know, Mercedes, you've been involved in politics a long time, and your district, Canarsie, happens to be like the seat of Brooklyn Clubhouse Power. And I understand that Frank Sedia, who's the boss of the Kings County Democratic Party, lays claim to being the godfather of one of your children. Yes, he is. Actually, I, uh, Frank and I go way back. Um, I was part of the club, I'm, I'm going to tell you honestly. But I grew up. And what I'm seeing in the district, it, it needs um, more than politics. It needs somebody that cared, that been tested and tried. It's not about cronyism, like people just putting the people in office, but it is about the folks, the people in the district. The voters have to have their voice. And for me to have the opportunity to get the voters, not only to, to just vote, but to be part of the family, the community, and really engage. And uh, I'm tired of seeing the voters' uh, suppression and oppression, and sometimes I can say depression as mm. a nurse. <laughs> so right. I, I, I need to see more of, because a lot of people give up in the, in the area because of the same thing. Oh, there's powerful. Who's the power? The power is the people. The people right. speak, okay. and that's it. That's the end of the story. I got almost 6,000 votes last time I ran for office. Right. So you, the people speaking. So the, presently, the person that's in office, even though she got elected twice in a special election, she never okay. even reached one, th one I, I would say, one third of the vote that I got. Do you think that your opponent, uh, Roxanne Bersad, do you think she's kind of like a, a puppet of, of the club? Or? Uh, basically, I'm saying I don't like to talk about people, but mm. if it's quite frankly, yeah. why would somebody be elected with less than a thousand votes in an area that have 318 folks living there. So that's, that's kind of like, it, it, it's just like the people are not there. So if the people are not there, this means somebody else is there. Somebody's uh, uh, interest is there. 
So yeah. that's what I'm talking about. So yeah. where would people find you if they want to perhaps give money or support your campaign? I love what that. I love yeah. that. You know, in campaign, saying, yeah. I feel like I want everybody to invest. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I am on 9712 Flatlands Avenue. It's right across from Holy Family. Uh, we open doors for people. We open from 10 o'clock to 6, 7 o'clock. And um, I ha I'm represented right now by um, the Advents Group, 39 Broadway. So I'm sure everybody can Google that and I welcome that, the support. This is great. This is a journey that I've been waiting to kind of like there's a path of my life that I have to take. And I, I truly feel like I, I would make a difference in my community. And um, like I said, I work with everybody. And t this is no, nothing different for me from East New York. When I, I, I represent East New York as a nurse, go to the home and I go to Bull Park and I go to Ship's Head Bay to, to, to be in people's home. I've been to almost everybody's home I can imagine in Brooklyn. <laughs> like so therefore, oh, if I'm in their home, <laughs> so, so as a nurse, and, and, and as a community leader, been on community board and past president of 41st Assembly District uh, Democratic Club and TJ Club. So therefore, I think I've been in, I've been, been around. So yes. I've been around long enough to know what's going on. Mm -hmm.